Welcome back, everyone. Hey, we are forecasting a rare ice event late tonight and into early tomorrow morning across western Washington. Uh, we don't see these types of events very frequently. And so for more details on some of the most impactful ice storms in our history here across Puget Sound, we do want to bring in with us Washington State climatologist Dr. Nick Bond. Nick, thank you so much for waking up early to join us this morning. Yeah, sure. A pleasure. Nick, we're talking about some pretty impactful ice events in the past. We want to look back at history to understand the potential impacts we'll see tomorrow. Take us back to the 2012 event. Yeah, so that one, uh, kind of like this one, it's, it started off with snow. And toward the end of the, the cold period, um, as it was warming up, there was a major bout of freezing rain, especially in the South Sound in Southwest Washington. What kind of damages did we see from that event with the freezing rain? Well, a tremendous um, number of impacts. Um, certainly a lot of um, limbs that were broken leading to power outages. And as we we're talking about this morning, uh, real problems on the roadways. I-5 at Centralia, Chehalis was closed. Uh, big disruptions at the airports. And um, unfortunately, uh, there was a fatality. Uh, a tree came down on somebody on an ATV, and uh, there was a, a fatality. And so, um, yeah, I, I, freezing rain, we don't get that very often here, especially compared to Portland, but uh, lots of impacts. Yeah, and, and over our interview right now with you, Nick, we're showing some of that file video from 2012 when we had that mix of snow and ice. Now, Nick, it doesn't take a lot of ice to overwhelm these power poles and trees. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's right, because it, it sticks so well. <laughs> um, and, and especially if on trees where there's some existing snow, that uh, that um, super cooled water freezing on impact just uh, loads it up so that, um, you know, the, the limbs snap and then all kinds of problems. And then, of course, it is um, absolutely treacherous on the roads in terms of it's a skating rink, um, in every way except for yeah. lacking a Zamboni. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're talking about the possibility for this freezing pretty quickly because we've got these cold easterly winds keeping in that frigid air close to the surface. Um, what do you expect the impacts to be from our ice event early tomorrow? Yeah, I, I, I would be surprised if we did didn't have some power outages, and especially in the South Sound in Grays Harbor County, Thurston County, and Lewis County, and so forth, in which there are going to be a longer period of that uh, freezing rain than uh, probably in the, uh, the Central Sound. And so um, power outages, and of course, there, there's all sorts of hazards there with, um, you know, if you're burning candles, be exceedingly careful for the light and, you know, people using generators, keep them out of the garage and away from the house and so forth. And by all means, don't put it, bring in an, a bocce or a grill or anything get for heat. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, and we're, um, one of the uh, things I'm really concerned about uh, is the, the power outages. And of course, the, uh, a lot of people are traveling for the holidays. And so the, the problems on the roads. Nick, we have just a couple seconds left. Take us back to that ice storm in 1996. Yeah, that one was also a high uh, impact event. Uh, there was very heavy snow preceding it and then ice and then some heavy rain. And we had um, uh, uh, some major uh, problems with landslides, um, marina collapses up in, uh, in uh, Puget Sound and just um, uh, huge disruptions there not just from the ice, but from all kinds of uh, problems with uh, flooding and uh, just heavy snow on lots of structures. You know, you've been in the meteorology world for decades. It is great having your expertise and helping us look back at these other ice storms. Nick, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks.